Hey everybody, so today I want to talk about captains, particularly teams that currently do not have a captain on the roster. Um, right now there are seven teams in the NHL who have nobody wearing the C. These teams all have alternates, they all have guys wearing the A, but there is no selected designated captain wearing the C on these teams. These, uh, these teams are Detroit, the New York Rangers, Ottawa, San Jose, Toronto, Vancouver, and Vegas. Now, me personally, I think every team should have a captain. Somebody should be wearing the C. I, I don't exactly know why I feel so strongly about that, but I just, I feel like everybody should have a captain. There should be somebody wearing that C. And, you know, for the most part, I think every team has guys that deserve to wear the C. So, um, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through each of these seven teams and talk about who I think should be wearing the C for them, who should be the captain, and if I were the coach, these guys would be the captain of these teams. So let's start with Detroit, and for Detroit, this is an easy, easy one. It's Dylan Larkin. Dylan Larkin, yes, he's still a young player, but he is the guy in Detroit. This is Dylan Larkin's team now. He's been around for a number of years, even though he's still young. He's, you know, he's, he's been around for years now. He's really improved as his game. He's gotten, as he's gotten older, he's developed well. Uh, he's a pretty hardworking player. Um, he's a, I really like Larkin. He's one of my favorite younger players in the game. Um, Sure, he's not necessarily up there with the Connor McDavid's and the Austin Matthews and the you know elite superstar young guys. Um, you know he he kind of falls into like a tier, maybe just one notch below that. But he's a very good player, and this is his team at this point. He's of you know Detroit's going through a rebuild of all the young guys they've brought in. Larkin kind of is like the key centerpiece of all those young guys, you know, he, he's the guy, he's the franchise going forward. So for Detroit, you know, I think it's time that you give it to him. He's been around enough years now. He's enough of a leader in that locker room to where, you know, at this point you give him the C and you say, this is your team. And, you know, it's, it's up to you to keep us headed in the right direction and, and to, you know, make sure that this team continues to improve over the years. But I, I just, you know, for the number of years he's been in the league and the fact that he is kind of the centerpiece of this franchise going forward, I really think it's time for the Detroit Red Wings to give Dylan Larkin the C. So he should be the captain in Detroit. For the New York Rangers, it's Mika Zabinijad. Uh Zabinijad has been phenomenal since coming over to the Rangers from Ottawa. Uh, he had an incredibly good year last year, a breakout year last year. He solidified himself as the number one center and the number one center for this team going forward. Uh, he's he's only 26 years old, but he's been in the league for a long time now. And when you look at that Rangers team, you know, there's they do have some veterans like Mark Stahl and Chris Kreider. But, you know, those are guys that you don't really know how much longer they're going to be on the New York Rangers. You know, there's always trade talks involving Chris Kreider. Um, Mark Stahl is definitely on the back end of his career. Uh, I think if you're the Rangers, you're a young rebuilding team moving forward. You just got Artemi Panarin. You're trying to take these, you know, the next step and really, you know, become a, a regular playoff team again. I think you got to give it to a guy who's going to be a big part of that team moving forward. And I certainly think that M Mika Zabinijad is going to be that. So I think Zabinijad, given the way he's played since he's come over from Ottawa and, and the fact that he's under contract for three more seasons, I think Zabinijad deserves to wear the C for the Rangers. Next up, the Ottawa Senators. Now, of all the teams, I think Ottawa is the one who has, you know, the the most reason not to have a captain. Um, for me, the cl there was a clear choice in Zach Smith, just given the type of player he was, how long he played for the Senators, and you know just what he brought to the table with his style of play and leadership. But Zach Smith was traded to the Chicago Blackhawks this offseason, so he's no longer there. And Ottawa, I mean, they are a team that is absolutely in shambles right now. So it certainly makes sense for them not to have a captain. Um, you know, a lot of their players are really young. A lot of their players have only been on the team for one or two years. 
Uh, they don't have a lot of veterans in the lineup. The veterans they do have in the lineup, for the most part, are kind of just throwaway players at this point. Um, but there was one name going through that roster that stood out to me that I thought, you know what? That's a, that's a guy that kind of deserves it. And it's J.G. Peugeot. J.G. Peugeot has played for the Senators for a number of years now. Um, and he's just such a hardworking, respected player. No, he's not a superstar. No, he's not the kind of guy who's going to be, you know, a, a top-line point scorer. But he's hardworking. He always gives it 110%. He, he grinds along the wall. He's not a big guy, but he's always going to the net and doing whatever it takes to play the absolute best that he can. And he's a guy that I've really enjoyed watching over the last few years. And I think that given the lack of veterans, you know, he's one of the longest tenured senators on that team. Um, I, I think he would be a good choice to wear the C. And uh, I think he deserves it just the way he the way he plays and the effort that, that he always puts in. And I think he's a great example for all of these young guys who are coming in um, to on, on, you know, how to play and how to put in the effort and make sure you're working every single night. I think he's a great example for young players. Obviously, I think Brady Kachuk is the long term captain in in Ottawa. I think he's, you know, going to be somebody that wears the C for years but he's only 19, only heading into his second NHL season. He's not ready yet. I think you let J.G. Peugeot wear the C for at least this year, maybe the next few years, and uh, I think he's earned that with his, you know, his effort level and the way that he plays. Moving on now to the San Jose Sharks. Um, Joe Pavelski is gone in San Jose, so that leaves an obvious choice in my mind to wear the C, and that is Logan Couture. This is Logan Couture's team now. I mean, yes, Joe Thornton's expected to sign back on for another season with the Sharks, but he, at this point, is on a year-to-year -year basis. He's on his way out at, you know, 40 years old. Um this is Logan Couture's team. I, they have Carlson and Burns on the back end, but for me, Couture has been a lifelong Shark. Uh, he's been there for years now, even though it still feels like he's a young player. He's been in the league for a long time now. Very, very well respected. Um, just signed a long-term deal with the team last year. Uh, he's the guy going forward. So for the Sharks, that's an easy choice in my mind. Logan Couture absolutely deserves the C. Next up, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and I, there's been so much talk about who's going to be the captain in Toronto. Uh, you know, most of that talk's been around Austin Matthews, and when is he going to become the captain? Uh, there's been a little bit of talk about Tavares, given the fact that Tavares was the captain in uh, New York with the Islanders before he signed with the Maple Leafs, and he has experience. But you know who no one is really talking about for captain that I think should be the captain in Toronto? Morgan Riley. Morgan Riley is their best defenseman. He's been there for years now. He's their, one of their longest tenured players. W why not Morgan Riley? I mean, he had he had a very very good season last year. He's I think, you know, certainly one of the leaders on the team. Austin Matthews does not seem like a captain material in my mind. He's soft. He's he's, you know, he kind of when the game gets physical, Matthews tends to disappear. He hasn't played all that well in the postseason. Uh, I think overall, Austin Matthews is a pretty soft player and not somebody that I see as a captain in the NHL, unless as he gets older, he toughens up a little bit and starts to play with that edge. But right now, he's not doing that. So in my mind, Austin Matthews is not captain material. Yes, he's an extremely good player, very, very talented, and a very good goal scorer. But he's not captain material in my mind. Morgan Riley, I think, should be the captain in Toronto. He's been there a long time. He's a leader in that locker room. He's a very, very good player. And he's somebody that, you know, doesn't really back down. He's somebody that's not going to be pushed around. And, and you know, to me, that's the kind of guy you want as a captain much more than a softer player. Next up, Vancouver. Uh, for me, Vancouver has a couple of nice options to, to be captain. Um, I think they're kind of waiting for Bo Horvat to, to come into that role with age. Um, and Bo Horvat certainly is a candidate in my mind. But for me, 
It's Alex Edler. Alex Edler has been on that team his entire career. Um, he's one of, if not the last remaining player from the 2011 team that went to the Stanley Cup final. Um, you know, he he's 33 years old at this point. He's He's been, you know, a great defenseman for the Canucks for years now. He's signed on for two more seasons. I think at this point in his career, Edler deserves the C, just given the, his tenure there, how long he's been there. And again, he's one of the older players on the team at this point. And, and a lot of experience, a lot of years with the, with the Canucks in that organization. And, you know, he's seen that team at the highest of highs when they were, you know, a perennial Stanley Cup contender in the late 2000s and early 2010s. And he's seen them go through a horrible stretch here the last few years into a full-on rebuild. And now he's still there while they're starting to come up and, and you know, see, start. I think this year we'll really start to see the fruits of that rebuild um, you know, to me, Edler's a guy who's been through it all. He's stuck with this team. This team is this team is stuck with him, and I think he should be the captain at least for a couple years while someone like Bo Horvat continues to mature, get more experience, and become captain ready. And finally, the Vegas Golden Knights. I did a whole separate video on who should be the captain of Vegas. It's Derek Englund. My opinion has not and will not change on that. Um, to me, Derek Englund has been the captain of this team the entire time. He wears an A right now, along with many other players on Vegas. But um, he he should absolutely wear the C. And he deserves to wear the C for at least a year. He's, what, 38 years old now. This very well could be his last season in the NHL before retiring. Um, you know, given his age and the fact he's on a one-year, very cheap contract with Vegas think this might be a swan song in a way for England, who, but just given his style of play, his leadership, his work ethic, uh, his road to the NHL, spending years and years in the minor leagues, um, you know, just he's such a respected and well liked player, and and such a great example for hard work and what you know where you know where hard work beats out talent cuz he's not the most talented player. Yes, he's a very good hockey player he's in the NHL. Obviously, he's a very good hockey player, but he's not a talented guy. He wasn't a first-round draft pick. This was a guy who had to work his tail off to get to the NHL and then work his tail off even more to stay in the NHL and he has done that and he's just a great example for young players. He's an incredible leader. He's an extremely tough guy. Uh, he came up into the league as a fighter. Uh, he's a very physical player. Um, and, you know, from he's from Vegas. You know, he lives in Vegas and has, you know, even before they had a team. Uh, it's just er, the stars are all aligned for Derek Englund to wear the C for the Vegas Golden Knights. And this might be his last chance, and I think he absolutely deserves it. Um, given, you know, his journey and, and what he's done, for, even just for this team, but what he's done in the NHL in general. He deserves to wear the C for at least a year before retiring from the league. So th those are my picks for who should be captain on the seven teams that currently do not have captains. Um, this is all just my opinion, so obviously other people might disagree, but it's, that's fine. That's who, but if I were the coach of either of these teams or any of these teams, um, th th that would be my pick for captain. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the comment section below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in this, the description as well. Uh, keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon.